descendant of Muhammad. He will be an unparalleled, unequaled leader. He will come out of a crisis of turmoil. He will take control of the world. He will establish a new world order. He will destroy all who resist him. He will invade many nations. He will make a seven-year peace treaty with the Jews. He will conquer Israel and massacre the Jews. He will establish Islamic world headquarters at Jerusalem. He will rule for seven years, establish Islam as the only religion. He will come on a white horse with supernatural power. He will be loved by all people on earth. So Jesus will return. Yes, Muslims believe that Jesus will come again. They believe in the return of Jesus. Not the true Jesus. The Jesus of Islam, not God, didn't die, didn't rise, didn't provide a sacrifice for sin. But he does return. He's a prophet. And he comes back and he has one purpose when he comes back. And that is to assist and aid the Mahdi. He returns, listen to this, as a radical Muslim. He comes back as a radical Muslim. He will arrive, by the way, at a minaret near Damascus. And he will come back holding the wings of two angels who flew him down. To meet the gathering army of the Mahdi. In the east, the army of the black flag. Jesus, when he comes back, will pray to the Mahdi, who is greater than he. He will acknowledge the Mahdi as his Lord. He will make a pilgrimage to Mecca. He will worship Allah, and thus he will lead all Christians who will follow him to reject their notion of Jesus and accept the real Jesus, who is nothing but a prophet and a man. He will establish worldwide Sharia law. He will become the greatest Muslim evangelist. And he will be the final witness on the day of judgment against non-Muslims. Christians everywhere will affirm that they were wrong. That the gospel is wrong. The New Testament is wrong. He didn't die, he didn't rise, he isn't God, he isn't the Son of God. He himself will come back and point out how wrong we've been. He will correct all misinterpretations and all misrepresentations. Let me quote what their literature says. He will shatter crosses. That's metaphoric for the destruction of the church. A symbol of Christianity being placed in the church. He will kill pigs. He will abolish the tax on non-Muslims because there won't be any living non-Muslims. Can't tax dead people. And then he will do one more thing. He will kill the Islamic Antichrist. He will kill the Islamic Antichrist. Then he will die and be buried by Muhammad, but not until he has destroyed Christianity by revealing who he really is. One of their writings says he espouses the cause of the Mahdi. He is the Mahdi's executioner. He is the Mahdi's enforcer. He is the Mahdi's prophet. And it is he who kills The Antichrist. That leads me to the third person. The Antichrist will show up. The Muslims call him Dajjal. He is the great deceiver. He comes to earth on a mule. And he's blind in one eye. He is an infidel. He is a false miracle worker. This Antichrist, this Islamic Antichrist. But you know who he claims to be? He claims to be Jesus, the Son of God. He claims to be a deity. He will attempt to stop the Mahdi. 
and the true Jesus, but the true Jesus will slaughter him. This is their view of the true Christ. Our Jesus is their Antichrist. Our Antichrist. <laughs> Kau cuba mengubah normal Kau hantu tanpa fizikal Kau virus tanpa ritual Yang menghantui dan mengganggu mental Sosial fizikal jarak dijaga jarak Jarak di rumah mulia